Hello everybody and welcome to an episode of Madame Wesley and today we're looking at our maths meeting. Now, if you are in my class, you know that for our maths meetings we sing a couple of songs for, to start with and then we're going to go, go through some numbers. So let's get started. So if you know the song at home, sing along. Mass meeting, mass meeting, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Mass meeting, mass meeting, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Few questions for you at home. Which day comes before Tuesday? That's right, it's Monday. Now, which day comes after Friday? And the last question is, how many days are there in a week? And the answer is seven days in a week. So maybe one more question. How many days are there in two weeks? Oh, we might need to use our two times table for this. So two times by seven equals, shall we count in twos? How many times? Oh, seven times. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. That's right. So the answer is fourteen. Okay, so that was our days of the week. Now let's look at our months of the year. January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Yes, they are. Okay, this time we're going to sing without saying the month that we're in right now. So the month at the moment is March. So this time I want you to sing the months of the year without saying March. Are you ready? January, February and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Yes, they are. So, how many months are there in the year? Let's have a think. There are 12 months in the year. Okay, let's think of a tricky question. Which month comes before March? Might need to sing the song. January, February, March. So which one came before? February. And which month comes after October? Shall we have a go? January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December, these are the months of the year. Okay, so we've got really good at our months of the year. So I'm just going to rub this out. And we're going to now think about what the date is today. So the date today is, I wonder if you can tell your parents at home what the date is today. Brilliant. Now the date here is Wednesday, the 25th of March, 2020. Now, I always ask my class which season we are in at the moment. I wonder if you know. Now think carefully. There's four seasons. So we have autumn, 
winter, spring, and summer. Which season are we in at the moment? That's right, we're in spring. And we're only just in spring, as spring started on the 20th of March. Now let's think, in autumn, what is the weather like? Some signs of autumn are that the leaves are falling off the trees. You can see beautiful golden and yellow leaves on trees. It's an excellent time of year. Now in the winter, you might need to put your scarf and hat on because it's really cold. Spring is my favourite season as it's when all the beautiful blossoms start to come out. And summer, we're all looking forward to summer, is when it's going to get much more hot. Okay, so now we're going to do a few activities with our counting for today. So, we're going to start by counting in twos, fives and tens. So we're going to do twos. I want you to show me your fingers like this as you do your twos. Then we're going to do fives. I want you to show me your fives. Then we're going to do tens. And when you get to 100, you can clap and put your hands like this. Are you ready? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, and on to tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Well done. Very good. Okay. If you have a whiteboard and pen, I'd like you to get it out now. If not, get a piece of paper and a pencil. We are going to write down our two times table. So, here we go. One multiplied by two equals two. Two multiplied by two equals four. I'll give you a minute to write that down. Gonna have a look at some patterns. Three multiplied by two equals. Oh, let me think. I'm gonna have to count in twos three times. Two, four, six. Four multiplied by two equals. Let's count in our twos. Two four, six, eight, five multiplied by two equals ten. At this point I want you to stop the video and I want you to write your multiplication all the way down to ten multiplied by two. Now I would like you to rub your boards because I'm going to give you some questions about the two times table. Okay, so could you answer these questions on your board?
going to give you a minute to answer those questions. Let's think. So 2 multiplied by 2, 2, 4. 6 multiplied by 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And 5 multiplied by 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. If you got them right, give yourself a tick. Fantastic. Okay, moving on to our last thing for today. We are going to look at doing one more and one less than a number. So, if I was to count the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nice and easy. What is one less than 5? The answer would be 4. What is one more than five? The answer would be six. So this is looking at it nice and easy. Now I'm gonna give you some harder numbers. So if my number in the middle was 32, can you think about what would go in either box? That's one less, that's one more. Okay, now that you've written it down, you should have 31, 33. Fantastic. Let's have a go at another one. If I had the number 45, can you tell me what one less than 45 would be and what one more than 45 would be? 44, 46. And the final one is we're going to look at the number 24. Could you tell me what one less than 24 is and one more than 24 is? One less is 23 and one more is 25. Thank you very much for watching my mass meeting today and um, hopefully you can tune in for the next mass meeting. Have a great day.